Welcome to the ePortfolio for the course, Action Research Proposal to Lee 704, as part of the Teaching and Learning and Higher Education Program at Centennial College. My name is Paul Martin, and this is my journey through adult education learning. My journey through teaching and learning in higher education made me realize and actualize the question of identity in, who am I? I am an educator, teacher, mentor, and coach. Ultimately, this final phase of the Tilly program brought all the pieces together, culminating in the asking of a research question, and ultimately, us devising of a plan to solve it. My journey began eight years ago, initially taking a course on social media. I was working full-time at Centennial College as a sports information and marketing officer and had no thoughts as to being an educator. In that course, I was out encouraged to become an instructor by the professor. It was not something I had contemplated at the time, although the seed was planted. And little did I know that that very suggestion would change the course of my life. I was so engaged in the idea of teaching and learning that I decided to continue taking the Gen Ed 500 course that was offered next. I had the good fortune of meeting another professor who saw something in me and encouraged me again to become an instructor. The professor teaching the course was none other than Ara Zabeda, who had at the time made recommendation for me to take on the role of teaching. To be honest, I didn't really believe her until I got a call from the chair of the department wanting to know how I was referred into the teaching role, as it didn't appear that I had the necessary requirements and background. However, I made a case to get the interview and eventually got the job as a part-time adjunct professor. I knew then that I had to continue in the Tilly program. I had planned to complete the program and achieve a, the adult education certificate in two years, taking one course each semester. And eight years later, I'm now completing the program, which culminated in this final course and project. This course was especially challenging for me, as I remember the first time I heard about Research Practicum 704, this was taking the Foundation 701 course. I remember the professor telling us to think about research. Research, I thought, I was terrified not knowing anything about how to go about doing research. As the program laid the foundation, I became more comfortable with teaching over time and more comfortable with the idea of doing research. I remember thinking, there is no way I'm going to be able to collect and analyze data towards an actual research piece. However, along the way, I learned how to apply learner-centered principles to discipline, as well as how to create and facilitate safe, and respectful, engaging learning environments. And in addition, there were useful student assessment strategies, learning effective assessment design and implementation techniques. And ultimately, there was a focus on the fundamentals of action research through various inquiry-based approaches to education in higher learning. The assignment. the assignment was for us to formulate a research question for a problem that we wanted to solve. Formulating the research question was the hardest assignment I had to complete, yet at the same time was also the easiest assignment for me to do. This assignment showed me personally just how far I've come in this journey of teaching and learning. The reflection. What I learned in taking the time that I did to complete the overall program is that it gave me time to grow as an individual and also as a professor. I have been able to really grow into the role of instructor. Purposeful practice makes for experience, life learning, and refinement of one's craft. It is that practice of allowing me to experience and see the challenges of what my students are doing well in and also are having issues with that has allowed me to create a meaningful research question. If I were to have taken this course years ago, I would not have had the confidence and or the experience that I have today. I have taught for seven years now, lecturing for over 50 different sections of the course, having educated over 1,700 students. In addition, I have taught First Nations peoples and also an introduction to the Canadian workplace experience. These experiences, as well as having taken the courses in the Tilly program, has made me a much better educator. Further, as part of the experience, I was able to take the course, Teaching and Learning 704 previously, which has given me a deeper understanding, having gone through most of the material once already. I had to stop though, and however, and drop the course partway through when my wife became ill with COVID in 2020. This experience, although incomplete, allowed me to be able to take the time to absorb the information and contemplate how this information would be used for my teaching practice. That's the easy part in terms of having the experience in crafting a research question and having looked at the work previously. Looking at the action research process, we walk through the stages of developing, planning, acting, and reflecting for our own research study and proposal. Challenges I faced along the way included finishing this course, 
However, it was not easy as other unexpected life challenges presented themselves. The environment due to COVID has had profound effects on teaching and learning overall as an environment. I've also signed up to conduct a pilot in this new high flex environment teaching the same Gen Ed 500 course. The high flex model gave me a chance to really dig into the research question and look at the why of what I want to accomplish with this course and the action research. Further, it allowed me to reflect upon my journey as a professor, but how far I've come. That said, running a consulting business at the same time satisfying clients, as well as teaching three sections of a course, and then being a student at the same time was very daunting on me. Getting the time to focus on the question and also do the research was not an easy task at all. I had had previous research question formulated around the idea of communication. However, I had to formulate something new that related to the current environment and realities of a post-pandemic world. At the time of creating the research question, I struggled tremendously. I didn't quite see and or understand how this was going to have significance on my learning, so I was more focused on the teaching of the class than I currently had given the new modality of HyFlex. The impact. The research question had impacted my teaching philosophy in terms of always looking to make changes and adjustments to the course content and lesson plans to engage students while meeting their needs for each semester and also the overall course. A good professor is a person who can transmit deep passion and has the ability to engage students with the material and encourage them to develop their own interests and questions about the course content. My goal is to help students develop a critical mind. I strive to connect the past with the present, promoting them to understand current events from a historical perspective as it relates to social problems. I strive to create a learning environment that pushes students to question themselves and their ideologies to become a better version of themselves after taking the journey of learning through this course. I continually seek to create a safe space that challenges their understanding of the world and allows them to learn how to be the change that they want to see in the world. The conclusion. In general, student engagement is a concern for many educators, and we all find this challenging from time to time. Ensuring that students are engaged in learning is part of the student-centered learning process and is very vital. Specifically, using breakout group sessions that have peer interactive uh, communication will be something I continue to hone and use in the future. And I expect to continue to refine this as hybrid and high flex course modalities become more of the norm going forward. There is more to pursue in the future on this topic of student engagement in high flex environments and group interactions through breakouts and small group sessions. So what does the future hold? It is highly doubtful that we will return to in-class only synchronous delivery anytime soon. Therefore, it is imperative to look at how we adapt to delivering more meaningful lesson plans, which engage students where they are in the modality that they choose. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to my ePortfolio.